me unfold my mat. The first thing you will need to know or do for your back handspring is stretch. Just a little quick stretch. Stretch your wrist out because in your back handspring you're jumping back on your wrist and you really don't want your wrist to hurt. So you want to put your hands like this, put them on the ground, and then like sit back and rock back and forth. Then put them like this and fold them like that. Then rock back and forth, go in circles. So you really want to stretch your wrist out, stretch your ankles out like this. And then you want to do a couple bridges for five seconds. Do two for five seconds. That may have been longer than five, but the longer the better. Then do another one. You also want to stretch your back out. The first trick that you will need to know a back walkover. If you do not know what a back walkover is, I will demonstrate it now. So when you do your back walkover, you want to show your leg, put it out like this, put it up a little bit, go back with straight legs. And when you land, you want to land like this. You will also need a back limber. If you do not know what a back limber is, back limber, you have your feet together and you go back but when you kick over you keep your legs together like this so it's kind of like a back handspring but it's like a back walk over but your legs are together while you're doing it so you're gonna have to have you're gonna have to perfect a back walk over and well not perfect it but you're gonna have to get good at a back walk over not fall and good at your back limber. The first step that will really help you is trying your back walk overs off of a little raised surface. I've raised my mat. This part is three mat like three parts of the mat tall and then there's one here. So you want to do jumps off it, straight jumps, keep your legs straight. You wanna try to tell yourself back and not go back that you like fall. So you wanna do this. And then you wanna start doing back walk overs off like this. You start doing back walk overs off it. And if you fall while you're doing back walk overs off of it, that's fine, that's completely fine. You just want to keep doing it until you can do your back walker. And then you want to do some back limbers off of it. And when you do it, stand here and put your hands on this mat and then like snap back on the other part of the mat. So, and then you want to snap back like this. You want to pull it up. Because in your back handspring, if you don't spring, then it's not a back handspring. And you also want to stick your landing on your back hand. You don't want to fall over and get all wobbly. So you want to stick it, do that a couple times. See, I fell a little bit there because I snapped too early. Once you get the hang of them, you want to flatten your mat a tiny bit more. As you can tell, I folded this to two layers instead of three, and there's one layer here and another layer next to that. So these are the things you will have to do off of the two layers. Then you want to make your mat flat, and this is how you're gonna Get your back handspring on a flat mat. I'm gonna start doing back walkovers and snapping off the ground like this. You want to do them a couple times until you get the feeling. That was a mess up. You want to 
jump and then do it. And then you want to try to go back a little bit while you're doing it. Like this. And then you want to kind of try to get an extra jump. And to set for your back handspring, you put your hands up, put them down here, and then you jump, and then you jump back. But you want to do that, but jump, and then do that. That will get you prepared for your back handspring. After you feel comfortable enough to do your back handspring, if the first time you try your back handspring, please be careful and put pillows or soft blankets down or do it on a mattress. At my gymnastics, we used a crash mat. So that's what that was my protection from not getting hurt. So make sure you guys be safe while you're trying this. And after that, you should be close enough to a back handspring. And then when you get your back handspring, to straighten your legs, because I know how it feels to have very crooked legs, because that's how mine was. To straight, how I straightened my legs was, I put a hair tie around my ankles and kept doing that a whole bunch of times, and you have to try not to break the hair tie. That's what I did. And it made my back handspring look a lot better. This is what my back handspring looks like. That's what my regular back handspring looks like. And then this is what my step out looks like. As you guys know, I'm working on my step out so it's not as good. Thanks for watching this video. If you would like to see more content from me, make sure to like, subscribe, turn my post notifications on. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.